all right uh, in this video I'll explain how we can solve any you know e-commerce payment processing problem in third world countries where people majority of people do not have access to David Carter you know the, any banking information so the whole technology behind this uh, picture is blockchain and uh, so this is how it will work it, it looks like in a bigger picture the SOP even in the most rural part of a the country there exists a SOP right so this SOP just as an ATM would act as a service to a bank this SOP will act in the same way to our blockchain network and any individual who do not have access with a digital currency and just have the local currency as a cash will be able to transform that you know the local currency into digital currency using that shop so you just go to that shop the shop owner use our application and sends him the $50 worth of digital currency 50 uh, rupees worth of digital currency to his um, mobile phone or to any address that he wants so that guy now is worth of 50 uh, rupees he successfully you know, transformed his local into digital currency and now this guy if wants to use our service will be able to use our service and then uh, he will pay us using that 50 you know the 50 dollar coin and our site will have a vault will have a account which will take payment from a lot of users just like that guy and collect it in a, in a wallet and this $50 coin along with the other X amount of coin is collected in our company Bolt and this um, coin would be able to be used as a reward to uh, act as a, you know, the incentive to a customer or it would also be able to be used as a share to any company uh, basically act as a fuel in, in our ecosystem and this $50 uh, this coin would be also then given back to the same node and the person that's not in our network will again be able to go that shop and then repeat the process again and again so this is a way how we can solve our payment problem in uh, in, in third world countries uh, as it's a big hurdle for any e-commerce and the technology behind this is again blockchain and i'll try i'll explain in another video how uh, we can use this or how is blockchain the right technology to solve this